Jackson to the and Polka's Dear Prudence. Two SM Bright Side, Saturday night from 10 with 80 hits in a row. Dennis Geary Motors, selling the finest sports cars at the most competitive price. Dennis Geary Motors, Parramatta Road in Petership. Uh, within about... Take interview with John Lennon on the Teflon. Ask him different questions. He wants to talk about peace all the time, though, so we let him talk on that. Hey, take the family of the new New South Wales 1969 Hot Rod Dragster and Custom Show. It's on this holiday weekend at the Burwood Westfield Shopping Center. Hours are Saturday, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. to 8, Monday, 8 a.m. to 6. Admission only 60 cents, and children under 12 accompanied by a dollar free. Don't miss it. The big 1969 Hot Rod Dragster and Custom Show this holiday weekend at the Burwood Westfield Shopping Center. Unbelievable, it's coming up soon. Interview within nine minutes or so. With the Beatles, presented by Spray and Stay. Next record, computer program by Mad Mouse Magic Music Machine. I'm coming. The Beatles in an interview in moments on 2SM. Presented by Spray and Stay. John Lennon talks about the ballad of John story, and Yoko. You know, I'm telling a story about John and Yoko, and therefore about everyone, because we're all one, I am, he is, you are. The ballad of John and Yoko, heard for the first time in Australia on 2SM tonight, between 10 and 1 in the Groover Wayne Show. Catch Groover Wayne, got another special interview just before midnight here. Hey, Spray and Stay are going to present this in just a few moments, right after they sing, Love is All We Need. Spray and Stay is that great hairspray by Richard Hudnut. Then that lasts up to two cans of ordinary hairspray. It's all in the spray nozzle. It's all in the way you hold your nose. It's built to eliminate weight to give you more sprays for your body. It actually is. Just do spray and stay once, and you won't want to use anything else. Try it yourself and see. The gals that know do already. Spray and stay really does not last up to two cans of ordinary hairspray. Yet costs no more. It's amazing but true. Spray and Stay by Richard Hudnot. The interview coming up right after this record with the Beatles on 2SM, 2SM exclusive. Rick from London, upcoming on 2SM. It is, oh, oh <laughs> tremendous and gigantic, the Beatles, and coming up with that exclusive interview. And more. What, are you excited about it too, Groover? Oh, see, it's brilliant. See, the good guys there with their noses up against the, uh, the window. <laughs> <laughs> that's gaslit. So why don't you play All Too Much after? Uh, oh, uh, that's a good idea, right after the interview. All okay. Too Much. You know what they say, girl. <laughs> Richard had that spray and say outlast up to two cans of ordinary hairspray. And they know it's true. <laughs> Groover put that can away. Because they've tested it. It's all the way that spray nozzle's built. You know what? It what? It really does. It really it's fair dinkum. It, 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 it does. That's true. Huh? It really does. It really it does. does. Oh, fine. Okay. It's brilliant. It's called spray and stay. <laughs> you gotta believe Groover Wayne is here. <laughs> hey Groover, you got a special interview tonight too, just before midnight, isn't that right? That's is that right. by the same yeah. people? After 12, but yeah. It's a different one from this, right? It's a different interview. Oh, oh, listen, gonna you're that. on the line again, so I don't know. All oh, right, okay. It's all the way the spray nozzle's built. How's your spray nozzle? <laughs> don't have to do the test one can of spray and stay yourself. And you'll know it's true. Ah, spray and stay. I'll last up to two cans of ordinary hairspray. You know what they're giving us for this? No. Nah. 6,000 cans of hairspray. Oh. <laughs> Get it, spray and stay. Now the interview momentarily. Mad Mel is everywhere. Mad Mel is everywhere. Mad Mel is everywhere. Mad Mel is everywhere. <laughs> Tape recorded off the telephone. Hi, John. This is Mad Mel in Australia on behalf of 2SM and the good guy. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I just got that tape you sent, John. She's beautiful. I believe you may be thinking you'll come to see us. Ah, uh, well, then I don't know, you know. I'll go somewhere in the States, you know. I was originally heading for New York, but it depends. Can I talk you and the rest of the Beatles into coming to Sydney again? Well, we might just do that, you know. I mean, we've thought about uh, Washington, New York, uh, Berkeley, and, and San Francisco. You know, it's really us making a decision on that if we uh, ever get in. What are your thoughts about the People's Park in Berkeley and the controversy there now, John? We've been... Screaming like mad from the don't kill themselves and no bit of grass is 
worth that. No park is worth dying for. It's peaceful here in Australia, John. Does it matter which hotel I booked for you in Sydney? Uh, anything you anything you like. What are you going to do about Northern Publishing now that you have more control? Well, I mean, we never had control, you know. All we did was to try and prevent somebody else taking control. You know, we never had the, the controlling interest in Northern songs ever. If somebody new came in, we just tried to stop them. And we did stop them getting complete control. They only have sort of, you know, three quarters. They had to amalgamate, which uh, makes them weaker. What can you tell me about Billy Preston? A rumor is around he will be on more of the Beatles' records. Well, I mean, we've often used other musicians on millions of records, you know. I don't understand it. And we just named uh, Billy because Billy was playing a, a pretty funky piano solo, that's all. To play with uh, Ray Charles' band, you know. And he came over and he's, he signed up for Apple and George's producing an LP with him. And he's a groovy cat, and he just comes in and sits on the session and, and lays it on you, you know. And so we thought we'd give him the credit. It's with Billy Preston. It doesn't say Billy Preston instead of the Beatles. I mean, I don't understand how these myths get going. How do you like old brown shoes? Well, that's George's song, and I just dig the sound of it. I haven't really got into the lyrics, you know. I'm getting out this old brown shoe, baby. I'm in love with you. That's good enough for me. What's the rumor about you and Yoko and a number of flicks? Now, we've made about seven films so far, and... Uh, We've got them in a brown paper bag at the moment. We're trying to get distribution. John, can you give Mahatma Duck a part? Oh, you you kid it. It looks like the age of Aquarius is upon us, and things are getting better. Yeah, I hope so. I believe it. They're getting better all the time. What's getting better? Peace. <laughs> okay. Peace, brother. That's the, that's the reason, you know. I'm selling the product, so I'm back again. What about a peace tour in the USA? I don't know. You get me in the States, and I'll tell you that. The Beatles are four middle-aged uh, teenagers who've got to make a democratic decision on whether they go on tour or not. And we're not agreed on it, so I don't know when. John, two SM listeners are interested in what the other Beatles are doing now. Uh, Paul's driving through Europe, last time I heard. Ringo's in the Bahamas, sort of half filming and half on holiday. And I don't know what George is doing. He's probably working. I hear you've got a Moog synthesizer, that fantastic new electronic instrument. Oh, Moog synthesizer, yeah. Yes. I mean, George has got it in his house, actually. Have the Beatles used it yet? George has made an LP with it, you know. We've got this new output on Apple, which is called Zapple, and John and Yoko uh, just made a new album on it, and it's out about a couple of weeks, and, and George's electronic album's out at the same time. And we're going to have people like poets, and, you know, it's called Zapple, so you know... You get a surprise when you buy it. You were telling me about a new Beatles LP. How's it going? Well, we finished it, you know, and the most finished number on it was Get Back. You know, we were doing this rehearsal for a show, which we never finished, so we got fed up and put the rehearsal out. And it sounds okay, you know, and there's chatting and messing about and all sorts on it. And then we got halfway through another album, so we stopped that. We got tired and took a break. Will it be a single or a double LP? And, and will you let out the secret of what goes with the LP? It'll be a single LP, but this, this one's got a book with it, you know, sort of a whole book of us making the LP, and we also made a film of it at the same time, so we've got to get that together. You said a film, John. You didn't tell me about that before. We made a sort of documentary of us making the album, and we got 68 hours of film there, so we got to do a bit of work with it. Well, what's it about? All the traumas and the, the paranoia and the, all the different things that happen to you when you try and make a record. I hope it doesn't end up like my magic flying machine. Well, if it, it does end up, I mean, it might end up like my little mystery door, only this time it'll be on the air. Have you any special plans for bigger things? Uh, I, I haven't got any specific plans, you know. I just plan to turn the people on to peace. Turn the people on to peace? How? Uh, through music, painting, drawing, books, dancing, eating. Have you written any new songs in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I've got a couple coming out, you know. I mean, I've, I've written a couple since I've been on the road with Yoko. One of them's called Give Peace a Chance, which I'm going to record as soon as I can. The Beatles seem to be involved in present-day thinking. How did this come about? It just sort of was a gradual development over years, you know. I mean... Last year it was all you need is love. This year it's all you need is love and peace, baby. Give peace a chance. Remember love. The only hope for any of us is peace. Violence begets violence. If you want to get peace, you can get it as soon as you like. If we all pull together, you're all geniuses and you're all beautiful. You don't need anybody to tell you who you are or what you are. You are what you are. Get out there and get peace. Think peace, live peace, and breathe peace, and you'll get it as soon as you like, okay? Okay, John. Thanks from the 2SM good guys and myself. Great, spread the word. Mr. 2SM is paying for this long distance telephone charges, and he just walked in the studio, John. Okay, bye-bye. Well, if you want to be the way you are, you're gonna be better off by far on the Mad Show. Bye.
Beatle John Lennon talks about the ballad of John and Yoko. You know, I'm telling a story about John and Yoko, and therefore about everyone, because we're all one, I am, he is, you are. The ballad of John and Yoko, heard for the first time in Australia on 2SM tonight, between 10 and 1 in the Groover Wayne Show. Groover Wayne, uh, Uncle here, you're going to play something twice, huh? Right. How are you going to get away with that? You know, the ballad of John and Yoko yeah. twice tonight. R twice, uh, right, yeah. one after the other yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. That's good, I like that. Yeah, does the program director, Rod Muir, know about this, or...? No, he, he goes to bed early. That's <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. Wasn't that interview with uh, John unbelievable? It was unbelievable, wasn't it? I, I was amazed at some of the things he said. Because, you know, he usually says uh, he talks a lot, but he says a lot there, didn't he? He says he says it like it uh, really it is. Let's <laughs> go, oh, yeah. Go away. It's the two of them. Pepsi Pop Paul. By for another contestant. Unbelievable! Grover Wayne's gonna make it in a moment! Thank you, God! Like, boy, did he ever get out of that nicely? <laughs> the marvelous! We'll see you tomorrow, seven o'clock! Uh-oh! I think, where do we work next week? It's not you! All right, Mad Mal. You've had your fun, and now you're through. The show is over. So get back in that cage.